Hi everyone, it's Cindy Lee, and I'm going to do a little bit of eyes for hooded eyes as we mature, celebrate those birthdays. It seems like our skin isn't just as tight, doesn't seem like it, it just is. Gravity is working against us, right ladies? So I'm going to show you a few colors that I really love for hazel eyes, hazel to green. I have a little bit of a green cast in there. So let me, it's like grab all of my things close by me and we're going to get started. So I always say do I simple because I want it to be quick and easy for you. So I'm going to start with the shadow and I like um, using a flat brush on my lid. I am going to do um, pastel about me or excuse me pink happy thoughts. Just it's like on my lid. You don't have a color, very, very neutral. I like going in there with something very, very light. What I like about these, and I can pick this up and show this to you so you can see, excuse me, the color that I'm going with right here. Just very light, putting it across my lids. Because what I'm trying to do is draw my eyes out to you. And I really like this part of it. Now I'm going to use a beautiful color called, um, let me see, which color did I pick out today that I've got over here? I'm going to use Justice in the outer corner. And for that, I like using this pointed blender brush. It's very nice. It's our brush number um, 10. So you're going to roll it in here. I'm going to show you what color that it's like right here. Always tap out so I don't have quite so much. And I'm going to grab my magnifier so I can look over here while I'm showing you. And I'm just going in the outer corner. They're so high pigmented, you just don't need very much. And ladies, if you want to know the key for eyes with our hooded eyes, you just really want to blend our skin. You can see how the skin is moving a little bit on my eyes. Yeah, just that whole gravity thing with it, darn it, anyway. But see how the two eyes, you're gonna see the difference between the two of them. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just going to keep blending, blending, blending. Now for most days, I would just use these two colors on my eyes. I wouldn't really go with anything else. I like to kind of, it's like just Move that out on the edge, and you can do that all with your brushes. See how it's making that sharp edge go away? If I'm just moving that, kind of combing that on there. See how much difference? It's like it's bringing out really the color in my eye over here. And I'm gonna show you a few more tricks as we're moving forward with all of this. Now, one of the things that I like um, to do is take just a really bright, pop a color, the lightest color I can find, um, has a little bit of a sheen to it, and put it right in here. See how that's making that eye pop out just a little bit more? You don't get everything you want. And you can swing that out, or you can go back over to the flat brush I used, put a couple up in there to blend it in a little bit. Okay, so you can see this eye is becoming a little bit more dramatic. Now, one of the things, because you can see how thin my eyebrows right there, I really love, um, you can either use a color of your um, eyeshadows, it's like I can use number 40 in there, but it's like I can brush those with a tamer brush, or I really like, my favorite is this brow pencil, comb up my hairs and on the other side is a nice little fine tip. Now what I love about this more than others I have tried is because the tip, the pencil part is so fine it allows me to draw in hairs. So you're trying to get a shadow with your hair. If you get a little bit too much I love that you can just bra comb that out with your brow pencil, but look at the difference how it just really shapes my eye just a little bit more. So I love doing our brows because as you know, that just really is framing your eye and that makes all the difference in the world. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can do um, 
shoot, maybe I'm not going to show you a couple different ways. I really like, and I didn't bring my finishing spray down here, but what I like to do is I take um, a little bit of shadow, and I'm going to go to this deep purple over here. And if I had my um, finishing spray with me, I would have been spraying it right here and dabbing that in there. But what I'm going to do is just lay that on the top of my lashes. Now, why do I want to lay that on top of my lashes? Because eyeliner is to help your lashes look a little bit thinner, so, or thicker, excuse me, not thinner, we have thin enough as it is, right? So you can see how I've added just a little bit of that right into my brow line. Now that's one way if you like using shadows, and I love the finishing spray part of it because that really sets it. But the other thing I really like is using a gel brow pencil. And let me just quick go over here and put a little bit of shadow on this eye. I'm going to go to the darker eye. Now some people like to just comb in all the time. But it's really, it's about blending, blending, blending. I don't think you can blend too much, but tools are important. So if you see I have a little bit too dark over here, it's one of the things I always love. You can just lighten that up by putting that lighter color back right over top of that. Soften up that edge a little bit. Now, what I'm gonna do over here is instead of putting the eyeliner right across the top of my eyes, I'm gonna go with this gel pencil. So hopefully you're gonna be able to see me do this. Put my hair back a little bit. I have a blinking reflex when these are close by my eyes and the lights are bright. You can bring it out. But see how that shadow has really enhanced that eye. Now this eye, I didn't have my brow done and I've got that gray spot where they look a little bit thinner. So I'm just going to quick go in there doing little strokes, really getting those areas in my front part that are really, really gray. And now I've really shaped those eyes quite a bit more. It's like, again, you can blend and of course, we want to add a little bit of mascara. Now, if I wasn't talking to you, I'd be able to do this much quicker. Kind of blink of my eyes. And you can see how that um, just finishes adding a little bit more depth to the eyes so that particularly when you're wearing a mask these days, god dang it, it seems like we need to spend a little bit more time on our eyes. So I am going to, in this reference, I'll write down the numbers of colors that I used, but it has just a little bit of lavender because I really think that is a great color, the purples, when you have either hazel or green eyes. And when they're hooded, take a little bit more over here. And when they're hooded, it's so important that it's like kind of just highlight, getting some darker color into this crease of our eyes, making it lighter as you go in. And if you really want to do a little extra pop on that corner, you just do something really light. You can see how that kind of draws it in to the eyes. So message me if you have any questions, and remember, if light gives you lines, be the light.